now the topic is now the topic is what are the different regions of respiratory system what are the different regions of respiratory system and the under the distribution of particle means particle says particular particle says where they will settle in the different regions of lung and the respiratory upper respiratory tract and in the lower respiratory tract what kind of particle size or what kind of particles will settle at different regions of the respiratory system first we need to know about the anatomy and physiology of anatomy and physiology of respiratory tract upper respiratory tract consists of mouth mouth or nose mouth or nose that is consists of mucous membrane next pharynx larynx pharynx larynx this we, this part we can call as upper respiratory tract means present outside <coughs> next one is lower respiratory tract lower respiratory tract nothing but this region trachea bronchi terminal bronchi see terminal bronchi these two here next one is from this place to this region we can call as respiratory bronchioles this region we can call as respiratory bronchiole this region we can call as terminal bronchi and respiratory bronchioles again divided into alveolar duct again divided into alveolar duct and finally alveoli like bulb shaped bulb shaped or grape shaped grape shaped structure we can call as alveoli so this is about the upper respiratory tract and the lower respiratory tract next one is conduct conduction unit depending upon the function how can we divide the respiratory system is conductive zone conductive zone means nothing but <coughs> the region which will conduct the gases means from the mouth to up to the respiratory terminal bronchi from the mouth up to the terminal bronchi we can call as a conductive zone means this region just will conduct the air this will just conduct the air then what about the conductive zone means respir upper respiratory tract tract to the up to the <coughs> up to the terminal bronchi we can call as a conductive zone next one is respiratory zone where the exchange of gases will be happening where the exchange of gases will be happening where the region is respiratory bronchi see this region respiratory bronchi holds plus alveoli respiratory bronchi holds plus alveoli this region we can call as respiratory zone this region we can call as respiratory zone so this is about the anatomy this is about the anatomy or our respiratory system our respiratory system now the topic is what kind of particle particles where they will settle it means what kind of diameter of the particle where they will settle so from the top to the bottom when we go into the lungs the diameter of the diameter of this trachea bronchi terminal bronchi or respiratory bronchi alveolar ducts are reduced the diameter of this pipeline will reduce when you will move from the mouth to the alveolar duct <coughs> the diameter is the diameter is reduced <coughs> so now <coughs> the particle size the particle particle size is very very important in, in the design of aerosol in the design of aerosol so if we consider the particle size greater than uh, greater than 10 micrometers greater than 10 micrometers they will deposit in the upper respiratory zone they will deposit in the upper respiratory zone okay by what mechanism by what principle they will deposit in this region means by inertial impaction nothing but inertial impact inertial impact is the principle by this principle the particles more than 10 or <coughs> more than 10 nothing but nothing but ah see inertial impaction nothing but the particles which having diameter more than 5 more than 5 micrometer they will they will settle by the impact inertia impact the particle size is having more than 5 micrometer they will settle by inertial by inertial impaction see here particle size is 10 micrometer means greater than 10 micrometer see from the trachea 
to this region the particle greater than 10 micrometers they will settle all the particles have greater than 10 micrometer they will settle in this region in this region upper respiratory tract upper respiratory tract plus trachea plus trachea the particles which are greater than 10 micrometers they will settle in this region by inertial impaction inertial impaction means the particles will the particles will collide to this region the particles will collide to the region and they will settle or they will stick they will collide to this pipeline they will collide to this pipeline and they will stick there itself they will stick there itself then we can call it the inertial impact up to the trachea up to the trachea the particles which are greater than 10 micrometer they will settle by inertial impact by colliding with the, this pipeline they will settle there itself next is the region of branchia see this is region of branchia branchial branchial region means this side this side right side left side branchia in the branchia the diameter of particle should be what kind of di uh, particles will settle in the branchia means 5 to 10 5 to 10 micrometer particle diameter will settle in the branchia region in the trachea or in the upper respiratory tract greater than 10 micrometer particles will deposit but in the branchia 5 to 10 micrometer particle size will deposit in the branchia so 5 to 10 means again inertial impaction again inertial impaction by colliding with the membrane and they will stick there itself okay next one is terminal branchial terminal branchial and respiratory branchial this both terminal branchial and respiratory branchials we can call it a branchial see ter branchial branchial what kind of branchial under the branchials two types are there branchials are there terminal branchial plus respiratory branchial so what kind of particle what kind of particle means what size of the particle say, what kind of particle size they will deposit in the terminal branchial and respiratory branchial means 2 to 5 micrometer 2 to 5 micrometer 2 to 5 micrometer particle 2 to 5 micrometer particles will deposit in the branchials 2 to 5 micrometer particles will deposit in the branchials branchials nothing but terminal branchial plus respiratory branchial so the particles the particles having 2 to 5 2 to 5 micrometer diameter the particles which are in 2 to 5 micrometer diameter see <coughs> 2 to sorry 1 to 5 1 to 5 micrometer diameter particle they <coughs> 1 to 5 micrometer diameter particle they will settle by gravitational sedimentation by gravitational sedimentation by application of gravitation force this particle see these are the particles present due to the gravitation force they will settle on the terminal branchial plus respiratory branchial due to the gravitational force they will settle in this region what kind of particles 2 to 5 micrometer uh, micrometer particles 2 to 5 micrometer particles will settle in the terminal and respiratory branchial region so next one is another next alveolar duct is there next in the alveolar in the alveolar they have asked once in the data what kind of particles settle in the alveolar what kind of particle will deposit in the alveolar means the particle size having 1 to 2 1 to 2 micrometer the particle in one meter, they will deposit they will deposit in the alveolar region they will deposit in the alveolar region next one is up to two, 1 to 2 micrometer is completed then what about less than 1, one micrometer particles is? then what about less than 1 micrometer is particles less than 1 micrometer the particles having 1 micrometer they will see they will they will present like they will exhibit brownian motion they will exhibit brownian motion means the particle which having less than one or 0.5 less than 0.5 particle size range they will show brownian motion brownian motion nothing but zigzag continuous movement of particles zigzag continuous movement of particles in the random direction in the random direction see the zigzag movement of this particle see the particles this less than 0.5 micrometer particle will not settle they are always in the brownian motion in the, in the alveolar region alveolar. by chance by chance they will settle by brownian motion or brownian diffusion they will diffuse from this region to this another side this region to this region we can call it a brownian diffusion or nothing but brownian motion this particle will settle by chance by chance then i will tell one thing one 
point is very important the particles which having less than 1 micrometer size diameter the particles they will exhale means when you will exhale the air when you will exhale the air the particles less than 1 micrometer diameter particle they will come and they will come out they will they come out from the respiratory tract the particles which having less than 1 micrometer diameter they will show brownian motion by chance by chance or some case in case they will settle if they want to settle means they will settle by brownian diffusion or by brownian motion by brownian diffusion or brownian motion they will settle okay or majority of the time the particles which have less than 1 micrometer diameter they will exhale or they will come out from the respiratory tract by exhalation means by exhalation when you will say exhalation the particles what are the present in our alveolar out come out along with exhaled expiration along with expiration they will the particles will come like this so this is completed the particle size range branchiae 5 to 10 trachea greater than 10 micrometer in the upper respiratory tract greater than 10 micrometer particle see these are very much very important these are very important gravitation see in the branchials 2 to 5 micrometer in the alveoli 1 to 2 micrometer particle diameter and less than 1 micrometer they may measure the object they will expel from outside <coughs> they will expel outside and by what mechanism they will settle in the tracheal and respiratory branchial they will settle by gravitational force they will settle by pressure force the particle size is greater than 5 micrometer they will they will stick by the inertial impaction by inertial impaction inertial impaction gravitational sedimentation and brownian motion and brownian motion and some particle they will deposit by electrostatic by development of charge if for example if this particle having positive charge and the and the some proteins are the if the particle having positive charge <coughs> the particle has positive charge and the region of this uh, respiratory tract has positive charge they will be by electrostatic electroprecipitation just by pass electrostatic attraction they will stick they will stick this is also another kind of principle so this is about the various regions of respiratory tract and how they will what kind of particles they will deposit in our respiratory system by what mechanism by what mechanism okay so for the respiratory tract means for respiratory tract for aerosol we, we are going to design majority of the cases used in means local action aerosols 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 majorly deposit aerosols majorly deposit see Aerosols major cause. Aerosols are major designed for local action or local action or systemic action or systemic action. Whatever the particles they will deposited in the alveolar, they will just cross this membrane, uh, this layer means they will cross the region and they will enter into the bloodstream. They will enter into the bloodstream. That mechanism we can call as a pulmonary drug delivery system. Pulmonary nothing but drug delivery structure within lung pulmonary by with the help of lung we can deliver the drug into the mixation nasal drug system we can deliver the drug to the systemic circulation with the help of nose the help the help this is there nose having mucous membrane mucous membrane is there the particles they will cross from the mucous membrane and they will enter into the systemic circulation in the drug delivery to the systemic circulation with the help of nose we can call it a nasal drug delivery system drug delivery to the systemic circulation with the, with the help of lung pulmonary nothing but lung we can call it a pulmonary drug delivery system this is about delivery drug delivery systems these are the particle size range and their distribution in various region of respiratory tract so majorly in the, in the respiratory tract infection majorly asthma and copd chronic obstructive pulmonary disease Asthma, asthma is major in the region of branchias. In the region of asthma is majorly happen in the region of branchials. In the region of branchials, then what will happen? So I need to deliver the drug having particle size range should be two to five micrometer meters in order to treat asthma. Is this particles? See, asthma is occurred in the 
bronchioles nothing but terminal and respiratory bronchioles get inflamed get inflamed so the drug reaches to this region only if the region uh, if the drug reaches to this region no useful if the drug reaches to the bronchia trachea not at all useful the drug should be reaches to the bronchioles then only asthma we can treat the asthma the particle size should be 2 to 5 micrometers diameter in case for the treatment of asthma for local action asthma so this is about the asthma and that is about the drug delivery system but finally i will tell one thing finally i will tell one thing so all this region from here to the this region from up to the respiratory region up to the respiratory region this having cilia cilia means cilia cilia are there like uh, hair like projections like hair like projections so and mucus also this from this to this region they will having cilia and another one is mucus so whatever the particles deposited in this regions whatever the particles they will deposited in this region they are trapped by mucus membrane they are, all those particles are trapped by mucus membrane and the, that particles trapped particle the, the mucus will send this the mucus will send this particle trapped particle on to the cilia so mucus is again consider that will trap the particles and that send that particle to the cilia send that particle to the cilia then cilia what what it will do means cilia uh, cilia means hair like projection what they will do means this send this particle from this region to the up to the up to the mouth this cilia this the regions of upper respiratory tract to the respiratory tract uh, respiratory region respiratory bronchial part of the cilia are present they will the mucus membrane the mucus layer trap the particle the mucus see this is the particle the mucus membrane trap the particles and they will send this particle to the cilia then cilia what will do is the cilia will move these particles like this the cilia these are the cilia they will move the particles like this they will move the particles like this up to the up to the mouth up to the mouth they thereby they will thereby the particles what are the particles deposited here they will expel out they will expel out from the respiratory system due to the presence of cilia and due to the presence of cilia and mucus due to the presence of cilia and mucus <coughs> the normal physiology of cilia and mucus means an art uh, catching of foreign particle and they will move this foreign particle from this region to the up to the mouth up to the mouth thereby exhalation thereby exhalation so this is about the role of cilia and mucus 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 in the upper respiratory tract plus this uh, the, in the up to the respiratory bank up to the respiratory bank this is about the function of cilia and mucus membrane next particle size principal by what we can they will deposit and what are the various particle size distribution in the different region of respiratory tract naso drug delivery pulmonary drug delivery asthma in case of asthma the for that is local action for treatment of local action bronchioles the particle should be 2 to 5 micrometer diameter this is about upper respiratory tract and lower respiratory tract conductive zone and respiratory zone